Hey everyone, it's January 14th, Valentine's Day 2015, and I am walking to the Keen Activism Center where there is a wine tasting going on. Now, I'm a little bit late, but I hope that uh, I'll still be able to attend. Let's see. Oh, looks like there's a lot of people here. Hey, the man of the hour! Hey, oh, I'm not the man of the hour, please. Hey, hey, how's it going? You look fancy. Actually, that makes sense. There's a certain cheese, Greek wine. Yep. Yes, okay, I screwed that up then. I think it's the Steve didn't realize there was going to be equation. Well, I I just walked in because I had to go leave for a minute and come back. Oh, I didn't get dressed up. Right, <laughs> I should have gotten dressed up. Wow. This is nice Chardonnay is also... So I'm here at this wine tasting in <laughs> and I want to um, give my impression of these wines like as soon as I taste them. So the first one that I had was a Cabernet Sauvignon. It was very dry, and I love that. Oh, do we have it? Do we have a bottle? Yeah. Okay. Here's what I was tasting. It was very dry. It was it was my preference so far. I've had two wines. Uh, the other is uh, Pinot Noir, which was also very good. But I, it's generally not my drink of choice. But it was wet. Wait, wait till you have the uh, the Chardonnay. I think that that's so far for me. That's the star. Okay, great. Yeah, I look forward to trying that. Uh, and there's also some cheese pairings that we've been enjoying with these as well. Let's see what we've got here. All right, so here's the Pinot. You know they're all about okay. the grapes. Belt the grapes. Belt the grapes. Here are the others. You heard it on the grapevine. So this is the Chardonnay. No. You'll set him up with that. <laughs> I like. I mean, it's just a, such a good. It's a okay. So this one is the wine. Chardonnay. It's a white wine. So you can pair it with white wine cheeses. Okay. Which would be? Let's see. So according to the Chardonnay, we paired this with mm -hmm. Brie and Gouda. That is very good. I do like a Chardonnay. What's the name of that one? It's one of the uh, flavors of wine that I drink uh, most regularly. It is a it's got a full body taste to it. Columbia Valley Triage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the only other white wine, though. The only white wine that we had that we paired it with was Brie and Gouda. So get out your Gouda. <laughs> I don't quite know how to describe it, but it is very tasty. That's the, uh, the, this one here. Columbia. Just a little bit more. But you could probably do the, hmm. the Gosh, I just don't have the words for it. But, um, you know, it's got just the right combination of the fruitiness, the, um, it's wet, it's not uh, too dry as some Chardonnays can be. Very, very drinkable, and I hate to use that term because I know it's a term that a lot of beers will use to describe themselves, but I would say that it is very drinkable. Is that the Chardonnay? <laughs> yes. Oh, weird. This grape, grape has Riesling, Chardonnay, mm. Chenin Blanc. Riesling, so it should be mm. sweet. Alright, well, I'll try and get this another Riesling, sampling Chardonnay, of these. Chenin very good. Blanc. It's got an aroma that I can't quite... That's the one you're drinking. So does that mean Derek didn't get the peanut? Okay, this one's called a triage, which I don't think I've ever had a triage before. Didn't know it was a type of wine. Okay. It's another white wine, which is my preference. Mm. Yeah, that's very good. It's got a different kind of flavor to it. The sheep cheese. Okay. Uh, very different from the Chardonnay. Um, let's say the Chardonnay was sweeter. I wonder why there isn't any Okay, this, this, is, this is going to be a very alcoholic wine. Oh, is it really? Uh, you talk mm. the smell? I don't know why they haven't. Yeah, you, you, you can smell the. It, it, it's dry because the alcohol is going to overpower the grapes. Okay, it's yes. lobster shell. Maybe only in the middle of the We need It's the one right by the blueberry cheese on the. 
And that to the right? To the right, right of the blueberry. To the right of the blueberry. Right, yeah. Got more of a smoky the flavor uh, to it. Like the, you can the, taste the. Uh, I don't know if this is the case with wine, but I remember with uh, scotch and stuff, sometimes it'll age in wood. This is something like smoked wood. This is something I almost taste in this. Even though it's uh, light color, wouldn't indicate that sort of thing. Are they all about the same? Um, these are all, hmm. um, I didn't look at this one yet, but the, these are all like 14.9%. Okay. Which is actually higher than the box caps that I bought. I'm going to try some pairing some of this uh, This one is 14.2. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that, that the pairing? That is very dry. That is very this dry. Is I should have the, cheesecake uh, with the um, triage, Johnson. I'm trying that, yeah. Well, I didn't get you on camera, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I love the triage. As I drop a piece of So far, the triage is my favorite. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm yeah, These are like rather the big pieces of uh, the one? Well, one thing cheesecake. Nice. I don't think we can have a whole thing. Well, what do you think of the like Maritage? Are you on the Maritage right now? I think it's a fine, like it tastes like a fine red to me, but um, it's too dry for my taste. It's just, I don't find it remarkable in any way, mm. but... Oh, yeah, I would say that does go very well with that wine. I'd call it a good yeah, cab. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Maritage? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Master Lake? Oh. Um, if you want to see the software I used to develop, it's at masterlinkcorp.com. Mm. And the company is still alive. Still owes me a quarter of a million dollars. It's been ten years. I don't see how well it does. How do you a quarter of a million dollars? Uh, Very good. They, for the last three years I was there, they were only paying me thirty out of my hundred thousand dollars salary because mm. at the day after nine so eleven, it's after tree Our venture capitalists so pulled out. Line. Okay. So and I recommend you pair it with the sheet cheese, Monchico, and it's very, very good. Including the MIS director, so I ended up being both lead developer, chief technical officer, and MIS director, plus all the monkeys that are supposed to work for the MIS director. So I had a lot of jobs, and I worked about 100 hours a week for... Three um, years this one's and be the last one. went two, completely out of my mind. And then the the Maritage. 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 So this is a yeah, Maritage. 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 Marit
being mean to you, but you just keep on smiling. Nice <laughs> cheese. Okay. What's after the Meritage? After the Meritage, we have the last Cabernet. This one is a Kumsel Napa Valley. Where was the first one from? The first one was from Spring Valley. I'm sorry, Spring Mountain District. They're both from Napa Valley, but one's from Coombs Valley, the other one's from Spring Mountain. Dry was the that you couldn't taste the alcohol. It's more alcohol. Dry is the one where the alcohol overpowers the grapes. Uh, okay. I like a, okay, a smooth so alcohol. Next? I don't like it when it tastes like. Cabernet? Um, yeah, I'm supposed to have the Vermont <laughs> syrup cutter with that first. You got it. Alright. Nice. Finally getting this, hanging this. Good I job. I like a fruity wine, but I actually kind of like this nice dry one. It's like how it works. Number two really is still well doing it for me. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Which one was that? Thank you. Oh, yeah, You're welcome. Sorry, first man. This one I think is a little drier. Which is how I'm not a wonder in this. This one is catching up. It has catching a hardcore okay. list. Okay. That I don't normally yes. have like, it yet. I drink beer like but it's alcohol content. Not going to affect me this early. Like and I know how dry. So this is the I'm second right. Cabernet so Sauvignon. Mispronounced. Starts with an M. Okay, Meritage? The one from Napa Valley. Mine probably is two. Uh, yeah, uh, I really number. like the smell. Uh, I can tell. Uh, I can tell that right away. A little so this drier than the first. Yeah. Uh, this was Chardonnay. Mmm. <sighs> yeah. That's dry. My far was my favorite. I'm surprised at how much I'm liking this one because I generally don't. Um, I don't prefer red wine, but if I had my pick of these. As good as the Chardonnay was, I think this might be the one I would sip. It's got the right combination of, you know, I, what I consider to be a strong aroma, which I like, and a uh, dry taste, a uh, dry um, texture, I guess is the right word. And then, fruitiness. Mmm. Right. I'm liking it. If you've had them all and you've given your opinion that you're going to give on them, then it's a free for all the other you want. Uh, <laughs> I am going to <laughs> determine the, the last well, Cabernet is better than the first Cabernet. Yeah. See, I feel yeah. the same. That's okay. a bold statement. So you've had so one, uh, six what goes with the one. second one. Cabernet? Are you going to tell me the Cabernet? first and the last? No, I just tasted it again. I just, just, just did the first, did the first one again. over again, okay. right after the last. So by better, what do you mean? He prefers it. Hold on. We're, we're all struggling for words here. I don't know. Yeah. The first one I think just this tastes one's funny. So, what is the cheese pairing drier. with the second yeah. Cabernet yeah. Sauvignon? The second okay. one. Yeah. This one's you're going to also be looking at now. the, uh, yeah, the, the, the white cheddar, dry. so the Vermont. Okay. So the first Vermont one's cheddar, okay, great. Okay. Yeah. I've had that one. Screw these people. I think. And the white. Yeah, I should probably taste the first one again. my palate. That's what I do. I think this, this is my favorite. It's the Chardonnay. Glasses, which that's I have been. It, oh, yeah. you did not mixing one. them out. So yeah, I had I what they do sure at Cameron did. Hughes yeah. is Cameron, and I spoke to him on the phone about this. The, he know, goes the to the different the vineyards mm. and he buys sort of their extra wine um, that they, you know, they know they're not going to sell. So it's been a very, it's been a bumper year the last three years, and he's managed to get a lot yeah, of really great wines good. that would otherwise be, you know, between. Fifty and three hundred dollars, and he's selling them between twenty and fifty dollars. And uh, it's a great way, although you're not going to know where it's from. Um, it's a great way to get great wines. So why do they um, why do they leave the names out then? Why do they leave the names out? Because if you if your vineyard is discounting wine, why the hell would I go and if I can get it through Cameron Hughes, why would I go and get yours? Good point. Mm. So Very basically, point. Cameron's saying, look. You know, we're kind of a, it's kind of a taste testy thing, and you get to try a lot of great wines. That's how we do it. Now, he does distinguish which lots they are. So there's, lot 441 isn't going to be from a different place. Ah, uh, okay, I see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm guessing that, that all of these are like things that were overdone and not, and not seconds. 
Not seconds. They're just yeah. Sorry, over the really really stuff. Stuff. I, I, I can't see it. You might call them oh, seconds. I did not show that. The, the, oh. They would. Uh, they can obviously they're going to take the very best stuff and put it in cab. You know, put yeah. it out yeah. first and mm. get rid of it that way. But I don't mm. think the average person would be able to tell. And uh, okay, so I think I've had all of the flavors. Let's see. I've had the Meritage, two Cabernet Sauvignons, a Chardonnay. Well, a triage I wouldn't know. and a Second Pinot Noir, so, so I've had all wine. of the flavors. <laughs> Gosh, it's hard to make up my mind to decide what's my favorite. Hmm. Mm. No, I have to probably side with Mark that uh, that Chardonnay was very good. As, and I do prefer white wines. And that triage, I don't think I've ever had before. It yeah, reminded triage, me triage, I'd never even heard of. I had yeah, it reminded me of uh, I'd have to say Pinot Grigio, but it's less the sweet. The was my favorite, and the white wines, I like the Chardonnay. Okay, Danica, what was supposed to be the third wine that I missed? Mm. Very good. I guess well, so. you're the boss. Danica set all this up, by the way. We, uh, yeah. We were going to have a wine tasting and sort of travel plans. There's a lot of snow in New England, and travel you know, plans didn't really um, work out for him and Hughes. So I turned it all over to Danica, and uh, you know she managed to make all this magic happen. Wow! Lots of different cheeses. I did have a lot of help and inspiration, so I wasn't like completely out of my brain. Well, thank you, Danica. Thanks for setting this up. Yeah, it's been yeah. wonderful. Great job. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. I do like planning parties. I want to make sure I get a shot of all of these cheeses that you. Produced here. Cheesecake counts. <laughs> cheesecake counts. Did you have some cheesecake yet, Derek? I sure did. Okay, good. It's delicious. <laughs> it was good mm. cheesecake. What are the different types of cheese that you have here, Danica? All right. All right. I'm get my Danica. All right. So it's like I, it's, yeah. Okay, there we go. So this one is the Gouda right here. This is just regular uh, Gouda. This is Gruyere cheese, which is uh, apple smoked, and this is the Vermont extra sharp cheddar. Over here, we have the blueberry cheese, smoked gouda, brie, and the manchico. Rich and Laura tore that brie apart. <laughs> <laughs> um, and these? These are papadou peppers, uh, and they've got cream cheese stuffed in them. Mm. And that's just regular cheesecake. Yeah, I think I'll have Those one. <laughs> and and there's, they're nice and sweet peppers, too. They're not hot. Yeah. If you follow that with a cab. I'm going to break the right now. And there is really there is more summer sausage, so if you do want <laughs> yeah. more sausage, let me know. That's uh, Johnson's mom's recipe for those. Oh, uh, mm. not what are they? Pepper Breaking the rules. Very good. And they're very good. Now, if you thank you. Mix the well, I'm gonna get to it. I've tasted all of the wines. They're delicious. Pepper doodles. Pepper doodles. That's the name. I could really see enjoying each one of these with a different type of meal or something. Like there's there's no like, oh, this is my favorite. I'm always gonna drink this. Um, and I like white wines generally, so I'll just always go for white. So I would probably pick the, the Chardonnay as my favorite, but that doesn't mean I would discount any of the others. Uh, if I were having something like a, a steak, I wouldn't want white wine. I think I would have the, um, was it the Meritage? Oh no, the second, uh, the first Cabernet Sauvignon. I really liked that one. I think I would have that with something like a dark meat. 